For anyone mourning the loss of the Ken Cinema, San Diego does have one new venue that's trying to fill the void, Digital Gym Cinema. Starting tonight with the 4K restoration of Victims of Sin, you can discover just how diverse and stunning the programming is. Let's start with Havana-born Ninon Sevilla, who's less an actress and more a force of nature. In a series of Mexican films in the 1950s, she captivated audiences with her blonde bombshell looks and sensual dancing. In Victims of Sin, she plays Violetta, a cabaret performer whose life takes a downward spiral when she takes in an abandoned baby. The film mixes an intoxicating cocktail of seductive film noir, lush melodrama, and Catholic redemption. The 4K restoration highlights the incandescent beauty of both Sevilla and the black and white cinematography. Victims of Sin, in contrast to a lot of American noir, does not have a femme fatale orchestrating the downfall of hapless men, but rather gives us a fallen woman with a heart of gold. The melodrama sucks us in, but the noir underpinnings add a gritty edge. The cabaret backdrop lets Sevilla and the musicians shine and allows for some naughty songs that have now been translated and subtitled. Plus, we get to see vibrant female characters who display surprising agency. Next up, Studio Ghibli's The Boy and the Heron opens on Friday. Director, writer, and animator Hayao Miyazaki has been called the Japanese Walt Disney, but perhaps the more accurate description I've heard is calling him the Kurosawa of animation, because his stories are complex and epic. The film features hand-drawn cell animation, and, as with all Miyazaki's films, it's visually breathtaking. In terms of artistry as well as narrative, The Boy and the Heron is far superior to any animated film Hollywood is releasing this holiday season. On Saturday, Digital Gym exemplifies its diversity not just in terms of the films it shows, but how it shows them, as the touring See It on 16mm program returns with the holiday horror classic Black Christmas. Audiences can delight not only in a 70s cult film that's often cited as the inaugural slasher movie, but also watching it with a 16mm projector purring in the cinema. And then close out the weekend with another unconventional Christmas movie, 1986's Cobra starring Sylvester Stallone. You're a disease, and I'm the cure. It closes out the Film Geek's year of action that I helped program, and will be serving pizza Cobra style with scissors at the screening. So treat yourself to an early holiday gift and go see any of these films at Digital Gym Cinema this week. Thanks for watching. I'm Beth Accomando, KPBS arts and culture reporter, and I cover everything from theater to film reviews. So check out the playlist and subscribe. Thanks.